Um, it is, the holidays are always a good time that you get to spend with your family, people coming in from out of town. There is a communal space in theater, and Wizard of Oz is such a wonderful story that all generations can enjoy. Uh, and when you just, you know that music and you hear that music and it's just joyful and happy and you feel a sense of community with your family, with the Memphis community, and with the actors on stage. Hi, I'm Lindsay Schmeling, uh, she, her, and I am the costume designer for Wizard of Oz. My mother was a huge fan of Wizard of Oz. She saw it in the theaters when she was young, and she that was one of the first movies that I saw as a child and uh, grew to love just as much as my mother did. Uh, Whitney Brennan and I have talked a lot about uh, what uh, the iconic things that we want to stay true to that are in the movie, uh, but there will also be some new envisionings of maybe what Emerald City looks like to everybody and what the munchkins are. Uh, that's when Whitney Brennan and I can kind of flex our creative design uh, minds and bring something new and exciting uh, for a whole new generation. Uh, so we started with the idea that um, from the beginning of right when they hit over the rainbow, you have those munchkins. There are 20 munchkin costumes and you will see 10 each night. Um, and we decided that the munchkin world is very rainbow based. Uh, for this one, it's a lot of trying to figure out um, what we can possibly maybe find out in the wild of shopping some things. Uh, so it's really a lot about um, reusing and reshaping what you can find instead of trying to uh, create the whole world from scratch, which could, which could take a lot longer. I want the audience to just walk away full of joy with this show. I'm Philip Hewen. I am the production manager and technical director here, um, and my pronouns are he, him. Um, I obviously watched the movie as a child. Uh, my first introduction to the musical was actually in our theater across the street when it was Playhouse on the Square. I was the assistant technical director, flight captain, sound designer, and in the ensemble. Uh, well, technical director, um, I mainly oversee the scenic build, and then I'm also in charge of every other technical area involved with the production, making sure that lights and sound and projection and any other ancillary things that we add, like flying for this production, get worked out on the technical side. And then as production manager, I'm in charge of everybody in the thing to make sure that it runs smooth and we actually make plays. We have found out some new information lately about some things that make me pretty excited. I want to kind of keep it under wraps and let people come and see it. Um, I absolutely love flying. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I have actually flown backstage for over 400 performances of Peter Pan. It's just a lot of fun. It brings a lot of wonder to the kids that are watching. Um, even if they can see the wires, it's, they still go wow in the, in the moment. So it's a lot of fun. That's those reactions of the full house of children at the matinees is really great. A lot of fun, a lot of entertainment, um, and then time with their families to enjoy a story that says your family is where the important things are. Hi, I'm Tessa Werner. Uh, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the stage manager for The Wizard of Oz. Uh, I, I was first introduced to The Wizard of Oz via the movie. I think it's a classic movie that we all love because it has incredible life stories and lessons that we can all learn from. And so I think that's why it's remained a classic and so ingrained in our lives. I think for me, my favorite part of stage managing is seeing a show go from that initial audition or initial production meeting all the way to a closing. So, of course, as stage manager, my pre-production process begins several months in advance before we even start rehearsals. And then from there, it's planning and having those first meetings and communicating with all of your cast members, your production team members. And then from there, it's building your schedule, your paperwork, all of the fun things that make a show a show start well in advance. So I've actually worked with Whitney Brennan a few times before, the most recent meeting, Something Rotten. Uh, I absolutely love working and collaborating with Whitney. She's absolutely an incredible director to work with as a stage manager. Uh, part of my job as stage manager is to be thinking several steps ahead at all times. And what's incredible is Whitney is also thinking several steps ahead. So it really makes my job a lot easier. Uh, she also is, we have a good system of communication and collaboration and 
Uh, so it's been incredible to get to work with her again. I am excited to juggle two casts for this production. Uh, I think it comes with different challenges. It's not very often that we get to work with two casts, so it definitely requires a little bit more logistics and planning. So I think an incredible part of working with two different casts is that no two individuals are alike, so the two casts are different people. Uh, however, we do maintain a sense of continuity amongst the shows, but it means that no, no show is going to be exactly the same. So I think for me, the holiday season is all about a season of joy and time to be with your family and friends. Uh, and I'm really hoping that this production of Wizard of Oz is a time for people to come and see the show with their family and friends and enjoy what's on stage and really enjoy that season of joy and that season of togetherness. My name is Lex Van Blomestein, uh, he, him, and I am the scenic designer for this production. I feel that as a scenic designer, we sometimes can become really perfunctory in the sense that it says it needs a door here and a wall there and, and stuff like that. But that's only being a facilitator and I wanna be part of the storytelling process. Also, this is my sister, um, her favorite film. You know, this is the film that she made sure that once a year we all watched together and then several times a year she would watch it, which means, you know, tangentially I would watch it as well. So, you know, I, this is something that has been um, in my life for a very long time and is a story that is connected with such love for me. Yeah, so, you know, Whitney and I, the first time we talked with each other over Zoom, we became like best friends and kindred spirits over this show. Um, she poses an idea and then I take it and kind of like tweak it and maybe turn it up a little bit. And then I hand it back to her and then she takes it and kind of thinks about it and tweaks it up another or another notch. Uh, I, It's hard to put in an aesthetic uh, feeling to this world. It's a little bit deco. It's a lot of imagination. It's elemental. It is visceral. We want this story to not just be a story that we all know and love, because let's face it, we can't recreate the movie on stage. We could try and it would inevitably continuous, continuously be a shortcoming. Um, so what we have to do is create, we have to find the moments of the movie that people connect with on the deepest level. And those are the things that we amplify. But then adding our own spin and our own twists and our own feeling to it. Yeah, so The Wizard of Oz is something that the majority of people have in their life. We've, we've watched the movie. So I'm really hoping that a lot of the audience members, when they come to see the show, if not all of them, have this feeling that they're coming to see old friends 